applauding Donald Trump for televising boardroom discussion is exactly what he wants. Ahead of the White House's first official cabinet meeting of 2018, held this afternoon, President Trump boasted of the outpouring of praise he says he received after Tuesday's bipartisan meeting on immigration, where the president allowed cameras to broadcast about an hour of discussion between himself and House Democrats and Republicans. Trump claimed that he received letters of congratulations from news anchors saying that the televised gathering was one of the greatest meetings they've ever witnessed. Although it is rare that reporters are granted access to negotiations that are in progress between lawyers, Politico speculated that Trump invited reporters to watch him conduct a meeting in order to dispel the observation advanced by the Michael Wolff tell-all fire and fury that he is incapable of fulfilling the duties of the office. Was it the greatest meeting ever witnessed? That depends on if you ask. Trump tended to contradict both his position and his understanding of what an immigration reform bill would entail depending on whatever the last person said to him, and telegraphed that he would sign any piece of paper that ended up on the resolute desk. Democrats, however, might think the meeting went well given how Trump answered in the affirmative to Dianne Feinstein's question on if the president would support the clean DACA bill to address the program as looming March expiration date. Yeah, I would like to do it. The master negotiator in chief responded, confounding Republicans who were expecting a more sweeping immigration reform package, including the construction of the Mexican border wall. Mr. President, you need to be clear, though, a noticeably alarmed Kevin McCarthy, majority leader of the House, interjected. I think what Senator Feinstein is asking here when we talk about just DACA, we don't want to be back here two years later. You have to have security. CNN's Jim Acosta attempted to verify Trump's claim regarding the glowing letters he supposedly received and was issued a list of clips of his own network's coverage along with tweets consisting, in part, of reporters marveling that typically private negotiations were made public. There was no praise for the president's negotiating prowess, demonstrated understanding of policy, or overall competence from any nonpartisan feeds. This 50-plus minute pool spray of DACA-slash-border-slash-immigration negotiations between President Trump and a big bipartisan group of members of Congress is truly a fly-on-the-wall fascinating thing to observe, MSNBC producer Kalani Koenig tweeted. This meeting in the cabinet room makes